So what's your name? Sir, you're in my place. My name is Tony. Tony has come into our place. It is now. Hey, right, so these people are stating that uh, they were. They were paid. Was that you can be in our place even though, even though we've been here for sixty days, you can just come in here at any time. Is that correct? Is that, is that legal, sir? Is that what you're saying? You can be in our place. You can be in our place. This is Airbnb security. It is currently. 11.30 at night. They have woken us up in the middle of the night. Yeah, he's, the house he's, is intact. He's in our place right now. He's doing what Airbnb security has asked him to do. This is further out of convenience to us beyond what we can possibly imagine. Just tell me what you're saying. You know, Alex, if someone has been somewhere over 30 days... I'm going to call the police here if you don't come out. Go ahead. Go ahead and call him. That's fine. Uh -huh. Hey, we have a lot of you've been somewhere yeah, over Yeah, go ahead and call him. What's to talk about? That's we pay. We pay. Okay, it's well, fine. What did I say? Oh, um... They kicked us out of our Airbnb. We never were given a reason of why we had to leave abruptly. And when you live somewhere for over 30 days, there's some laws about you can't just abruptly kick people out. I mentioned before, this was all caused by a set of chain reaction, a chain reaction that was set in place by Airbnb's Trust and Safety's department's negligence. Well, you can, I'm not going to say too much here, but on January 6th, they started a chain of events that resulted in me and my wife nearly getting killed twice and endangering our lives during a global pandemic in an international country once. Well, because we got kicked out of the Airbnb and, and it's March Madness and there's no place to stay in town that's a reasonable rate, we had to stay at a very inexpensive place. Well, these inexpensive places are very, very bad neighborhoods and there's constant fighting going on. The police are always there. I was documenting as much as I could and what happened was when I was documenting the footage, I got attacked. Look how dumb you look. Matter you're mad over her? For what? I'm talking shit to her. What? No, I talk shit to no, nobody but her. No, you're not. But you're talking silly? I know. I know. You hear you me go dirty? Oh, my God. That's definitely Oh, my God. Yep, yeah, it's your win. So what? So what? Because look how she treat her kids. So look how she treat her kids. Look how she treat her kids. Look how she treat her kids. Call Tavy, I'm Tavy. Yes, I'm <laughs> Right now. In public, you're allowed to be filmed. In we're we're public. verified photojournalists. So that's why there's that's why there's a camera. Can you please leave us alone? Can you ask him to leave? Can you tell him to leave us alone? Leave our home alone? Please I leave away. Go room. away. Sister. Just get away call from here. Call the cops if you got an issue. I will call them too. Call them right now. Get out of our place. I'm telling you why you recorded my little sister. I'm because you guys are yelling out here. Get out of our place. Get the fuck out of our place. Stop screaming in public. Well, get out of here. Call the police. Hey, buddy, you might need stitches on that right there, dude. That right there? Oh, I, I can wrap it up real good, okay? I can wrap it up real good. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got some photos on there. I can wrap it up real good, but that, that probably needs like... <laughs> this personal stuff, man. We all got them. Come on. Come on. We all got them. That probably needs two or three stitches, right, man? Sorry, man. I'm just looking at Oh, no, that's fine. Okay. Oh, I know, I know. It's just... No naked pictures. I want to save you from the embarrassment. No, I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, Basically, these... Does this you... guy live here? I'm sorry. Do I live here? No, it's him. We're just here for a couple of days. I think they said he lives here. I got some video of the whole... So there's like four of them out here having an argument. They come out and say, hey, can you guys keep it down? So he's filming. They didn't like the fact that they were being filmed. He gets... Uh, you got pushed, right? Pushed into the window? They first broke first the they window. First they broke it, actually. We closed the door. Because we closed the door. Okay. And then they, they broke the, the window because they're, they're trying to... They're all mad at us now. Oh, yeah. man. And so they're all... We literally had to slam the door shut to keep them out. And then they just broke the window. And I came out to see what happened. And then, and then, and then he threw pushed me in the window. Yeah. Did, did, uh, did you say you were here or did you walk anywhere? I'm sorry. Did you, you see the here? Did you watch? I was inside my class. No, I mean oh, after like, you got cut. Little, no, he's been here the whole time. Here, okay. Oh, I didn't move. Do you know how he broke the window? Did they punch it or something? I'm yeah. Saying, I think he punched I'm it. I'm guessing with the fist. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. 
I didn't actually see it because we were inside when it happened, and that's when we came out. Because you didn't walk down that way. Oh, so, Joy, tell them what we're doing T for the car camera. So, we have what we have is here is we have all our gear here and here. But now we have a broken window, which means that now we can't leave or do anything today because we have all this gear. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pack up all of our stuff and we're going to take it with us. Right? So again, this is all a chain reaction caused by Airbnb's trust and safety. If they hadn't have acted so rash, none of this would be occurring right now. Oh my God, oh my God. They broke through the window and they pushed through the door. We're gonna pack up all of our stuff because we don't have a window in our, new, in our place now. And we don't want to lose any of our gear. So, Fat Joy is going ahead and packing this stuff up. This officer is going to drive us over to the, uh, to the, what are we going, ER, or the, uh, the, the, urgent care. the urgent care. So, we're, uh, we got a police escort today. We're going to be heading to the uh, urgent care to take care of a couple of our injury. My jaw is a little bit, I got a couple good hits to the jaw. See, look at that blood. Yep, go ahead. He, he records everything. Yeah, I know, yeah. So I was like, what the hell's going on? Yeah. <laughs> well, because you know what? 100 years from now, people are going to wonder what happened to society. Yep. And I'm going to show them. <laughs> Go to my channel. Well, you don't need that video, man. Just go on YouTube. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, man. See, what I needed was someone filming me getting beat. Is what I needed. <laughs> Not me holding Somebody it. Somebody probably got it. <laughs> no, you filmed yourself. Yeah, I filmed let's myself getting beat. Let's warm up for me. You can video while I'm undressing it, but then when I fix it, I got to stretch it out. Why is that? I'm just curious. Just to protect myself. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. I didn't even thought about that. I just find this interesting. Southeast. No, Southeast. Okay. Hold it up for a second, okay? Hold it up. Get the CSI on here. <laughs> I don't throw journalists a bit. It's a small room. I didn't think I'd be the subject. <laughs> yeah, they had the vessel on there. I think so. I know we're covered with vessels, right? So it won't be an issue. Do you have any stitches that might be? I'm going to staple probably two and two here. Okay. Two in the head. Yes, sir. And what about the ankle? Uh, I'm not sure yet because we're still cleaning. Yes, sir. Right. When we got here, fire and missed it. But where else do you have the That's pretty much it. Just the jaw. Can you see the jaw? You probably can't see it. Um, let me take a photo, just the, the left side. Uh, it, I mean, there's a little bit of a blue. Like like okay. Whatever you want, yeah. Just whatever, you need, whatever you need. <laughs> I'll I'll right the yeah, I get the video if you want to see. Just keep looking forward for me. Yeah. How'd you get the video? You saw the local camera? You took the video. I'm gonna put my scale next to you, just so you know. So this is the kid. There's a lot of Okay, and then I'm gonna do it from the other side as well. Okay. And then I see you have a little bit of blood no, right here. Going. Is that just blood or do you think you're hurt there too? I don't think I'm hurt there. No, right, I think that's just probably blood. Gotcha, okay. I'll just take a picture of Justin's face. They're all going crazy. They close the door. And then actually I'll do one more, but with my scale. His wife is right here, that's her hand. She's gonna break the glass. Okay, so and then I'm gonna take it. He jumps out. He can just look this way. I'll do the same photos on the side. He, he thought it was him at first, but he, he's just trying to break it up. He's trying to break it up. Kid in the hoodie right there. I feel you have that video, so. Kid just sucker punches him. I thought it would be helpful. He's Very trying to hold on to the kid's back. I get video everything when I hear loud noises. And then you see he anything. Did it go pro or was it positive? Well, I have both, but I use this one this time. The oh, iPod. Okay. Uh -huh. The Pro 12s. And then Max is amazing. Oh, really? Yeah, I have the Pro 6. Yeah, oh, those are great. I love it. Yeah, that thing is Okay, so I have received my medical attention. And I'm going to go ahead and take that picture. Okay, so I have received my medical attention. And I am good to go. I'm well bandaged up. They've given me some antibiotics. Pain pills if I need them, which I don't think I will. And I'm just gonna wait for Jedi Joy to come pick me up here at the hospital. If you want to come get a copy, you can get it today or tomorrow. I'm sorry, not today. Tomorrow or maybe Wednesday at the latest. And you guys can come down, it's free of charge. 
and just bring that with you and they'll, they'll give it to you, okay? okay thank just you bring so your much. ID, that, and then they'll, they shouldn't be an issue. I heard you had horrible injuries. Yeah. It, it, <sighs> what are we doing? No, just put your camera down. I'm asking. Okay. We're gonna get a room here because of the altercation. We're gonna find another place to stay. We couldn't stay here. I don't want to do It's not safe. Well, so we're paying double rent. So we want to document that. We found the cheapest place we could find on the last minute. Okay, so hi everyone. Uh, so I'm in and out of the ER, okay. Let's show what you got uh, going on. Yeah, we got some staples. Uh, basically, these are two staples here. And it's very similar up here. They gave us stuff to dress this more. And I've got another one's in my head. Oh. Back here. Oh, jeez. Somewhere. Oh, I see him. Yes, I see him. And we're going to spend a couple days here. That's so much poor baby. Oh, look, it's a poor baby. Hey guys, so yeah, we weren't even, so, oh, what a nightmare. We had to, you know, leave that harbor island and I, I, we hadn't even checked out. I just packed up all of our shit because I wanted to go, I didn't want Jarvis to have to go back there when I went to go pick him up from the hospital. And apparently the maintenance just jacked anything that I had forgotten. But we hadn't even checked out yet. We hadn't even checked out, we hadn't even turned in the key. And they were just helping themselves to anything that I forgot. I mean, yeah. if you're trying to do an investigation with those people, man. Well, it's because it, probably because it's just a fucking shit show. They're just like, stuff. sorry, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, uh. I was like, what do you mean you don't know? I mean, you don't know what your maintenance people do. You don't know who was in there. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you don't know who was in my room. They're the ones that locked it, so it was only them. We now currently in Las Vegas. We are currently paying for three places. We have this place. We have another place paid it for the Flamingo Palm. That's so true. And we oh also now God. have. The place over there, the Harbor Suites, this where they jack, we have a broken window. We can't stay there, obviously. I'm kind of tired of staying in these shitty places, but I'm running out of money here. And, and, and I haven't even received a phone call back from Airbnb after telling them, hey, what's the, the deal? And the guy came in with a gun and kicked us out at 1130 yeah. at night. Huh. Good morning. So uh, here we are at our new place. <laughs> oh, believe it or not, it's called the Hotel Shalimar, Las Vegas. The first place my mom took Jedi Joy and I when we came into Las Vegas for lunch, was there was, a, there was a Cuban restaurant right here, and this was in 2013, and that was where we first came, and then somehow we just, as you guys know, through a series of events, we ended up back here again for probably our last day. We're gonna probably check out here today, and then we're gonna head, stay downtown, and stay at the, uh, stay at the Oasis and see how that got, how that is down there. I don't think so. <laughs> hey guys, so really good news. This place was so amazing. We were at Hotel Shalimar, so we came here because we were looking for just a really, something really affordable since we had money in so many different places, you guys. We literally have paid rent to New York, we paid rent to uh, the Airbnb, we paid rent to Harbor Island, and now this was gonna be another place we were paid rent to. And so we were trying to find the cheapest way, but now they actually let us get out. We had two days, because we really didn't like staying here. It's too small. And um, we also found out today that we're getting like 868 or something, around the dollars back from Airbnb, and maybe even more. Uh -huh. Oh, this is amazing. 
Okay guys, so hey, we are successful in finding a place to stay for, this is essentially our last night in Las Vegas. So, we chose to stay downtown. This is where we started our adventure in 2013. And here we are, what is that, eight years later. Well, not quite eight, about seven. This is Tony Hesh's place. Uh, he had some ideas for downtown. One of the reasons a lot of us moved here to Las Vegas was Tony Hesh. And, well, I'm glad I had a chance to stay in his place. I, I, I've always wanted to, but, you know, when you live here, when you're in your local... Do a little live walking. Oh, look at this guy. Want to do a little live streaming here pretty soon?